It's been more than a year since a big snowstorm affected a large part of Pennsylvania, but history tells us there's plenty of time left in winter. Tonight, I'll take a look at the climatology of big snowstorms, which I'll define as 10 inches or more at five major observing sites in the state, for which there's at least 100 years of data. Now, here's how common big snowstorms are expressed as the average number per decade. State College has the highest frequency, about seven every 10 years. Harrisburg and Williamsport, about five. Pittsburgh and Philadelphia average the fewest, between three and four every 10 years. Now, if it seems like these numbers don't quite match your recent experience, you'd be right. Here's the average over just the last two decades, in parentheses, well below the long-term average at four of the five places. Only Philadelphia has more big snows over the past 20 years than the long-term average. As for when big snowstorms have occurred historically, here's the percentage on or after today. February 1st. The only place with less than half is west of the mountains in Pittsburgh. The other four have had more snowstorms, more big snowstorms, after this date than before. The extreme being in State College, where nearly two-thirds have been in February or later. Now here's the breakdown of those storms by half month. So you'll see two bars for every month. The peak time in State College is actually the first half of March with February and the first half of January sort of the second tier. Now here's the breakdown for Philadelphia, where not only are there far fewer big snow snowstorms, 40 compared to 85, but a majority of the big ones have occurred in the latter half of January and the first half of February. Once you get to March in Philadelphia, there's not much chance. Now across the state in Pittsburgh, big snowstorms are much more evenly distributed, just about equally likely from the latter half of December into the first half of March. To finish, let me show you how a big snowstorm at one place correlates with a big snow at the others. For example, when Philadelphia has a 10 inch plus snowstorm, here's the probability that the other places will get 10 inches or more. What strikes me is that only a quarter of the time will State College also get a big snow with less than a one in five chance in Pittsburgh in Williamsport. Lastly, let me do a similar chart for when Pittsburgh has a 10 inch snowstorm. Better than even bet you'll also get one in State College, but southeast of the mountains, it's not very likely. These probabilities make it clear how disconnected the state is when it comes to big snowstorms. In fact, only five storms on record have produced 10 inches or more of snow at each of these five locations. The most recent was the President's Day storm in 2003. Are there any big snows in our future? Stick around. The extended forecast is next.